After black-throated laughing thrust, the Hakim's aviary welcomes birds from outside Indonesia again. They are birds from the African continent. And the first bird that Irfan and his team will release is the superb starling. Come on, let's get acquainted with the birds who are gifted with this amazing physique. It's the aviary! Guys, this time, we will release a very cool bird and introduce it to you. This is the African starling. Look, there's white around his eyes, like glasses. The head is black. The neck is dark blue, gradually turning down to light blue-green. With the lower body brown. He's so cool. There is a white line resembling a necklace on his chest. That's right. Then why birds from Africa can exist in Indonesia. This is for educational purposes, to increase knowledge. Yes, it is true. This is also for research. And clearly, we are looking for birds that can coexist. Our main focus remains on birds from Indonesia, but occasionally we receive birds from overseas, such as the black-throated laughing thrust, Chinese Hwemai, then now the superb starling. Okay, we're ready to release this bird. Ready. One. Two. Nah. Wow, he's perched up there. Where is he going? Now, he lands on Kadaka. Super Starling or Lamprotoanis Superbus. Seen from the name, they belong to the family of Starlings. Of course, you still remember the Bali Starling. That means Super Starling is still a family with this Super Starling. However, unlike the Bali starling, the superb starling inhabits the African continent, particularly in East Africa, such as in Uganda, Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and South Sudan. They like dry and humid places. In the wild, superb starling makes savanna thorny bushes, forests, agricultural fields, damp areas on the edge of lakes or rivers, to human settlements as their habitat. Superb starling does tend to be docile in humans. In addition, they are known as birds that like to live in small colonies and have a high sense of solidarity. For example, super starling babies that have just hatched from eggs are not only cared for and raised by their parents but also by other super starlings. As long as they are still in the same colony, they also sometimes live together in a group with starlings of different species. Thanks to their friendliness and excellent adaptability and ease of breeding, superb starlings are often kept in many aviaries. Superb starling has an appearance almost similar to Shelley's starling and Hildebrandt's starling two bird species that both inhabit East Africa, so you don't get to be mistaken. To distinguish the superb starling from the two birds, pay attention to their chest. Superb starling has a white line that separates the blue and brown parts. Shelley's and Hildebrandt's do not have white stripes. However, it must also be remembered that immature super starlings do not have white bars. Only adult super starlings have them. When foraging for food, the superb starling will explore the ground or climb acacia trees. Their main diet includes insects and worms. But, if they find seeds, berries, and nectar, they will not refuse to eat them. 
They like to build nests in trees and between bushes or crevices in large rocks. The nest is round, made of small branches and grass. In the nest, the female mother lays two to five eggs and incubates them. After about two weeks of incubation, the eggs will hatch, and the two parents then take care of the chicks. However, as discussed earlier, another superb starling might help the two mothers care for their young. The song of these birds is somewhat similar to the black-collared starling, loud and long. Here's an example of their natural tweet. However, they have a talent for imitating the sounds of other birds. These abilities will appear especially if we train them. Fortunately, these beautiful birds are not in a state of concern in the wild. On the IUCN Red List, Super Starling is in the least concern category. Their population in East Africa is quite abundant and widespread. What's more, they are already widely cultivated outside of Africa, such as in Australia, and now, De Hakim's aviary is trying to breed them in Indonesia. Although, sadly, the superb starling at De Hakim's aviary still doesn't have a partner. But, take it easy, Irfan and his team will try to get the super starling at De Hakim's aviary to get a mate and breed. Hopefully, this video can also be useful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.